But all of this whole lab has to do with impacts and uh, bolide impacts and uh, what happens when something like an asteroid or a comet hits a planet. And for this lab, most of what you're going to be looking at is the moon, because the moon has got some of the most obvious and impressive impact craters that we can see pretty easily. What's the important things when an uh, impactor hits a surface? Is it the, how fast it's going? Is it how big it is? Is it some combination of the two? And then using that to extrapolate the size of the impactor that potentially killed off the dinosaur. This is just more or less to give you an idea of what you're going to be measuring. So this is just a very simplistic idea of what your crater, the morphology of the crater. Uh, so this used to be a flat surface. Something impacted here and left this bowl-shaped depression, which you should recognize as what a crater might be. Uh, this would represent something like taking a cross-section through it like that. And you have, obviously, the rim on both sides. So you'll be measuring this distance here between the rim of the crater. All of this green stuff that I marked here is what would re refer to as a ejecta blanket. And this ejecta blanket is more or less everything that used to be here that got shot out when the impactor hit and got sprayed out in all directions. You're not going to find some other features that you find in normal craters. This is down here on a normal crater. You would have what's known as an impact breccia or an impact melt. Because this material at the bottom of the crater is going to be made up of all the rocks that got fractured and broken during the impact because of the force of the impact. And sometimes it gets so hot that they'll actually melt. So you can find at the bottom of craters this broken up debris or the actual molten rock. You can calculate how fast these things are going just based on the distance you drop it and gravity. So you have your velocity. And that's equal to the square root here of 2 times the force of gravity times D being the distance, being how far you dropped the bolide. So these buckets are full of sand, and then flour, and then a small layer of cocoa adjusting, and then about a centimeter of flour, and another layer of cocoa. So it's going to be like the stratigraphy, like we were talking about this morning, the stratigraphy of a bunch of layers of rock, so you'll be able to see the impact and how far down it went and then where the ejecta blanket goes when the bolide hits.